everybody. Welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. I'm still rocking my vacation nails. I do need to do them again because they're growing out a little bit. But I need to do, I need to, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, get back into like the routine of uh, videos. I don't know why I feel like I've been away from it forever. I really haven't. I, I mean, I pre recorded some videos before leaving, but I feel like I haven't done like all the normal things that I, that I usually do on a regular basis in quite a long time. So it's just kind of feeling a little like weird, like I'm trying to get back into the routine of things, but look at, look at this cute little. So when we were there in Aruba, um, our friend and my sister found this piece of coral that looks like the letter J <laughs> for Jessica. <laughs> so they gave it to me and I think it's super cute. So we're going to put her over there. Um, now you're not supposed to take home shells or sand from Aruba, but coral is okay. <laughs> but um, I am doing my Etsy payout. This is um, was paid out to me at the very beginning of October um, but it would be mostly for the month of September. There's maybe like a week or so in the beginning of the month that um, would not be included. But I made about $36. It was 35 and change. So I rounded up because um, it was like 30, 35, 60 something or, you know, so so I rounded up. But um, so I have $36 here. That is 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's going to get allocated into my little budget binder from Janelle Ray Budgets. And the breakdown will be as follows. Taxes gets 30%, so that's 11. Supplies gets 30%, uh, percent, so that's 11. Equipment is going to get 10% for $4. And the remaining will be $10 that I'll just, I'll probably put into, you know, making more challenges and, and things of that nature. So let me get my cash tray here. And let's get into it. So for taxes, I do have the money in here already. So this will be, this will probably go towards whether I owe anything from like having the Etsy shop or I, you know, I have one for YouTube. So for the YouTube pay, if I end up owing for taxes for any reason, you know, due to these things, this is that's where I'll pull the money from. Um, last year I didn't. Oh, I do also have like a withholding in my normal regular like nine to five job. So that kind of like tends to even it out a little bit where I end up getting money back instead of having to owe. So in that case, if I don't owe on taxes and I get money back um, from my taxes, I will probably put this money towards creating new challenges. So 11 is going into taxes. So that's 5, 10, 11. And I need to do, I think, a bill swap in here. But um, I haven't had the chance to do that in quite some time. So taxes now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 168, it's a pretty good amount. And I don't know if I'll get a tax form. I think you have to meet like a certain amount of sales to, in order to get like a tax document from Etsy. And I can't remember if it's like about 600 um, or give or take. Um, this is the envelope for Canva. This is fully funded. So that's just, um, I will have to pay that. I pay yearly and it's about 120 or $140. Um, dollars. I can't remember, but this is currently fully funded until it gets paid again. Let's see. Supplies. I did pull, I believe, some money from here to create some uh, challenges, but this will be getting another one, um, 11. So 5, 10, 11. And this now has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. And 
and let's see equipment is getting four one two three four so equipment now has 20 45 50 51 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 59 I should look into a laminator so I can start like making the scratch offs myself and see if that's more cost effective but I, I really have to do some research on that <laughs> And then I'm going to put the remaining $10 into this profit envelope. So that's 5, 10, 15, 16. Now in that envelope, I usually um, will put that towards challenges. So I'll, if I'm short, like in supplies and I want to create another scratch off, I'll, you know, combine that with what's in profit and pull from there. But that is it. I do also have some happy mail. Um, so let me open that uh, as well. This is from Golden Girl Budgets. I need to get a new um, like letter opener. <laughs> I broke the one I had. So this looks like this is my membership mail. So it says, thank you for being a member. Here's all her information for her Etsy, YouTube, and Instagram. So go check her out. It's Gold Tracy from Golden Girl Budgets. And we have the little polar bear. So I thought I'd start getting some challenges like ready for winter because it's coming, whether we like it or not. <laughs> but I just thought this was super cute with the little polar bears and the trees. Super, super cute. So that will go into my rotation. And then I did make a purchase from Plan to Save Designs. Let me get my scissors so I can open this. So um, she was very sweet. She messaged me on Etsy uh, as well. And we were talking a little bit. Um, but she has some really, really cute items. And I just couldn't resist. So let's see ooh, what we have here. Okay, so we have... Oh! <laughs> How sweet! Okay, so this apparently is my order, and then she gave me some freebies for you guys. Oh, goodness, we're going to have to do a giveaway soon. So for the items that I bought, I got some Halloween items. We have... Michael Myers says, just the tip, I promise. <laughs> I'm all about the innuendo. I'm sorry. I love it. Freddy Krueger, Freddy's coming for you. I love, 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 absolutely love Pennywise. The Clown Stephen King is one of my favorite authors. You'll float too. I love it. I did when I was back when I was doing nails, I did a set of nails that were all themed on it and Pennywise and I love 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 Pennywise. I love the new It movies. Just love them. Friends till the end. So we have Chucky. So I got like the whole set of the little like monster movie characters. <laughs> Bitches be tripping. <laughs> with Jason and the pumpkin and Beetlejuice. You're the ghost with the most, babe. I think these are so super cute. I love these so much. And it's probably going to be forever before, like, for me to use that one because I just, I love it so much. But I'm going to have to put some of these into my savings challenges because we are in spooky season, y'all. And then we have freebies. So let's see what we have here. And actually, maybe we'll do an impromptu giveaway on this video. So ooh, let me get in here. There we go. Okay. So we have some, uh, a little thank you savings challenge. This is super cute. I like that. I'm going to have to go back to her shop again. I love these balloons. That's super cute too. So each balloon, $2. We have all of the, this is, this would be a nice, easy one, $2, $1. So 
you know, nice and quick to get through that. Look at these little Halloween guys. Oh, that's so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> these are adorable and they're so cool. Monster Mash. So we have a pumpkin head, Michael Myers, ghost face. I love scary movies so much. Best Carver. <laughs> Michael Myers. Love it. Do you all know? Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. Okay. So if you are a horror movie fan and you want to get in on winning these challenges and you're here to this point, tell me who, what the mask is that Michael Myers wears. It's a specific, like, type of mask. You could Google this information for real. Um, but the, there is a, I mean, this mask is of a specific other, like, character, um, if you will. If you know who that, like, what that mask is, leave it in your comment down below to be entered in to the giveaway to get this whole entire set of challenges. So if you know, you know, <laughs> if you don't Google it <laughs> and put your answer down below and I will pick somebody from the comments to win this whole entire little set. So good luck and hopefully you stayed to the end to be included. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I, you know, like I said, I'm trying to get back into the to the swing of things. I don't think I'm going to keep doing. Um, here, let me let me do this. Oh, let's keep this open. Let's see. I want to get it out to you like fairly soon because they are mostly Halloween. So let's see today. Um, the, well, I don't know when you're going to see this, but, um, I'll put the information in the description box down below as well, but let's see. I think here we go. Let me get out my calendar here. So you're going to see this video on the 18th. Um, let's see. I don't want to let it go like all the way until the 25th because like Halloween's right around the corner. Well, I mean, you could always use them next year too, but, um, let's see. One, two, three. Let's do this until I'll announce on the 23rd. Okay, so you have until the 22nd to enter. I'll announce it on the 23rd. And whoever knows what that mask is that Michael Myers wears, and no, it's not just a Michael Myers mask. <laughs> he, It's a specific, like, Halloween mask of another character from another... Uh, movie, TV show, you know, whatever, but, uh, put your answer down below and till next time. Good luck.